just a quick disclaimer here. Um, from this point on, a lot of the scholars have different sequences for the events. So the events are known, but what sequence these events come in are different from one scholar to another. I tried to look at the majority of the opinions and, and put a, a, a sequence to take us through this journey. So if you read a book that has different sequence, that's fine. It's all, inshallah, um, trials from different scholars. Let me start by introducing a new character in our journey. This character, his name, he's an angel. His name is Israfil. Israfil is the angel in charge of blowing into the trumpet, blowing into the horn. The Prophet wasallam during the journey of Isra and Mi'raj, the ascension journey, he saw this angel. And let me show you how he saw him. He saw him, the Prophet ﷺ describes, he said, he had one foot in front of the other, he had the trumpet on his lips, he took a deep breath, and you know when you're right, right when you're about to blow into something, your, your face does like this, right? So he's just about to blow into it, and he's looking from the corner of his eye towards Allah, ready for the signal to blow. 1400 years ago. Israfil was standing like this. When the Prophet ﷺ came down from this journey and was very active in, in, in salah and in acts of worship and his wife was telling him to, to, to take it easy, he said, how can I take it easy when Israfil, when the person or the angel in charge of the trumpet has his lips on the trumpet ready to blow? There's no time. There's no time. 